Hello, hello. Welcome once again to the African Tech Gurus. And um, if you're new to this channel, please do us a favor. Subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate your support. Kindly subscribe to our channel. We will say thank you. Yes, we are here today again, and we are here to do one thing. We are just here to do only quiz of this particular concept for today. So allow me to thank you through the quiz. It's only a short video I try to record. And uh, I believe you have studied and you have watched a uh, video and you have tried to go through these resources. If you have not watched the video, but you have tried to go through these resources to understand what Ill all this means. So allow me to go direct to questions and try to answer with you. Question one, what is the site of the float data type? Remember we read that uh, float data type is we have uh, the float, we have int, we have uh, character, and we have the string. So one byte, no, we, uh, one byte is for car. So this one is wrong. Four bytes, four bytes is for uh, integer at the same time float. So integer and float are the same size, so they are four bytes. Then we have eight bytes, eight bytes, no, this is not for integer, but this is unsigned. Uh, this is unsigned long. We have two bytes. This is the short. This is the size of short. This is, okay, the size of short and unsigned short. So our answer will be four bytes. That is the size of lot. And then question two, what is the size of unsigned int? Remember, hint is hint, unsigned hint, and also both the unsigned int and int are all the same. So in this case, it will also uh, be the same as four bytes like that. Question two, what is the, which of the following is a valid why or do while statement in that one, beta compliner, considering A and B two variable are of type int. So please select correct answers. So when we are writing a while, you must understand that while the condition is to then execute the statement. So this one is wrong. That one is wrong. Uh, this one is wrong the first one is wrong because first of all it is not giving us the condition number two this one is wrong because of a is equal to zero a is less than a b a plus plus in while loop we don't increment in the condition inside the condition we don't increment so that is why it is wrong and we don't also give uh, initialization inside the condition. The only thing that we do in while loop is that we give a uh, comparison. So this one, A++ plus plus and A is equal to zero is not uh, supposed to be inside this particular bracket. So that is why it is wrong. Let's come to this one, A is equal to zero, while A is less than V, print this one. This one is valid because only we have, uh, in this case, we have, the the while loop that is now the 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 what they call what the comparison is inside that particular bracket it has been initialized outside and now it execute the the command the printf function what you have asked it to print so this one is true and then we come to the second one okay this one what about this one can this be true or false let's check no because we are using the other type, this the other type of brackets, not this one. We are using a bracket like this one. This one. We are not using this one. So this is wrong. So we pass by that. This one is true. Why is it initialized? We have the condition in bracket, and we have the print statement, and also we have the increment function. We are incrementing so that it will. If we don't increment, what what happens is that when we don't increment it will always continuously print that number because incrementing, it will take back to, to where you have a is equal to zero. So it will increment by one, it will be a is equal to one now. And then while a is less than b, then you print this one. So it will go to one and then check, is a less than b? Yes. And then it, it print now that, that particular value. And then also it increment. So a becomes two, two is two less than b, Yes, it will go, it, it will print that two and then go back again and have three. 
3. Is 3 less than B? Yes. It will print that one also and also increment A. It will be 4. We'll go back 4, increment like that. So that is true. We say that is true. And then, uh, so that is that is true. Which other one? Which other one can we say? Uh, which one have I forgot? Any any of this? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, let's continue. What is the size of car? Remember, I spoke about it in Dahlia, that car is only one byte. This is int, float, this is unsigned long, short. So car is only one byte. It's only one byte. So also let's talk about let's talk about uh this number four, which are following is a valid statement in I and C beta complainer uh, variable int. So we have if statement now. If statement is that you have to have it in bracket if if statement if a and b so that bracket first of all this one is wrong because the bracket you see here is not this one we are using this other type of bracket like this this one and this one so this bracket is wrong so that one i dispute that one so that is not will not be the answer let's come to another one uh, if a is bigger than b it is wrong why we don't have bracket between a and b uh, here we have if a this one is wrong also a lot of brackets we don't need necessarily a is less is greater than b return a this is true this is true and then if a is greater than b also return a and that is true also yes that is true so question five which of the following is a valid for statement in this one? Considering A and B are two integers. So for loop, for statement. So for four, you must initialize a variable that is saying the, the type of variable, the value. Also, give a comparison that is A less than B or A greater than B and, and also increment within the bracket. So this one, so in this case, uh, this question of ours here is valid, is it? Four int is equal to zero, a is less than this one, and then plus plus print this one. Yeah, this one is true. That is true. I can't dispute that one. That is true. And then what are also? Uh, also uh, four a zero a less than b a plus plus. There's a problem here. Will there be any problem? I don't see any problem. Unless, yes, I don't see any problem. And then this one, A is zero for A is less than B. Print. Okay, we have already uh, initialized this one outside, so it is can be also true. Yes. Uh -huh. that, no, 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 that, not this one. Which one? Yes, initial. Okay, but this we never specify, so this one is wrong. I think this one, yeah. But we'll test. No worry, we'll test. If it fails, we'll go back. Yes, we have two errors. Where is two errors? Two errors. Uh, I believe here. Here, A or B. You say do up. There's another do while. So for do while, this will work for do while. Let's check our code. Let's okay. Let's check our answers. Not code. One error. So where is the another error? Another error can be in this. Can be in this. So this is true. What about this one? This one can be true. Yes. And then we print that one. We can also print. No, no, no. This one is specify. This one is wrong. This one is wrong. Yeah, this one can work. This one is wrong. Okay, reason being, we specify the type data type here. 
we don't need to specify data type inside the for loop. Yeah, that's why it's wrong. Yes, it has worked. So all our quiz are now solved. So in case you want to see, these are answers. The size of the float, that one. The size of the, that one. Those are the answers we have. I believe you are seeing the answers. Eh? I'm just moving so that you can see the answers in case you never got it. Yes, and that is the end. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our channel. See you later.